that gets me back to ordinary mind. It's just the ordinary things. It's not about special ordinary mind. It's ordinary. For me, I went down to the pond yesterday because I thought, well, I should at least look at it. <laughs> I was afraid to look at it, even getting close somehow. There's just, I don't know. And Rachel helped me. She, she held my hand. Thank you. And um, I, was, I was surprised, happily, to see that when Rachel put her feet in, I could still see them. <laughs> I thought, OK, I could put my feet in, and I could still see my feet. And that was good. Um, but there was um, a visceral response to the thought of getting into the slime of it all, right? That was just um, so alive, right? And so in that way, the, or the slime was preaching the Dharma. But it's ordinary. It's just, what is it? It just makes us alive and notice what's always here. And nothing has changed, and you haven't been polished in any way, and the slime is still slimy. And a verse from a koan about someone who was lost in the mountains coming around a corner and seeing uh, peach blossoms and having it stop him and interrupt him. Um, one person made a comment that uh, the peach blossoms were not aware of their own crimson. It comes to mind as you say that. And that seems like maybe a good place to end. <laughs>